nothing for us. Nothing for us. So a cross section of unionists affiliated to the Streetnet International is in Kampala to deliberate on the sector and to better the policies to improve the working environment of the informal economy workers. The higher you build your barriers, the taller I become. The faster you take my rights away, the faster I will run. This is the spirit that we need to maintain. As they raise the barriers to segregate us, even though we are a majority, we should grow taller, make ourselves seen, claim our space, by not acting victim, but proffering solutions and alternatives. That is the president of Streetnet International, Lorraine Sibanda, awakening the workers in the informal economy to fight for their rights. If you see workers going to bed with the government, something is really, really wrong. Because as far as we know, we have a high informality, and yet the workers in the informal economy are ignored. We are very visible with that high percentage, which is over 60% worldwide, and more than 80% in most of our African countries. We cannot be deemed invisible. We are simply ignored because we are a sign that something is not right. However, our advocacy work, our capacity building work from Streetnet International is moving forward. We are moving slowly with wins. However, we need always to reflect because there is no model to trace for us. We need to create a lot of approaches. We need to create a lot of new solutions and to show the government that we are a big part of solution. The president of the workers in the informal economy network in Uganda, Jessica Mwijuka, says the greatest challenge is the lack of social protection to the sector. The policy is highlighting more is healthy uh, and obituary and uh, retirement. So that if someone is sick, uh, that emergency be covered. If someone's uh, 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 loved one is dead, be covered. And then for retirement. You know, uh, for us, in formal economy workers, we work, there's no retirement until you die. So we want us, we have an age. If you want to retire, we'll be also given a package like formal workers, how they do. We also request NSSF, National Social Protection. National Social Security Fund to engage WENU in its program and discussions and consultations. We call upon the government to take an urgent action to mitigate climate change since it directly affects informal workers. The Streetnet International President Lorraine Sibanda who also the president of Zimbabwe Chamber of Informal Economy Association, is concerned about the delay by many nations to ratify to ILO conventions on workers in the informal economy. Mean Some of the standards and policies that we as StreetNet are using to push for the respect of the rights of the informal economy workers are the ILO standards which include the transitioning of the informal economy to formality. This was crafted in 2015 by the International Labour Conference of 2015 and it sets out the conditions which member states should adhere to. While the coordinator of Streetnet International, Oksana Abud, highlights the mandate of the union. All informal economy workers, they need to be organized. And we exist at international level to help different workers, different groups of informal economy workers to be organized. 
Streetnet International currently organizes over 800,000 members in five continents, uniting uh, workers from 56 countries. We are very proud of having this number because we believe we exist to support, to strengthen organizations which are membership-based organizations uniting workers. The informal sector is believed to be 85% of Uganda's workforce, contributing between 50 to 51% of the country's gross domestic product. Despite the great contribution to the growth and development of GDP, workers in the informal sector are challenged with lack of recognition by laws and policies, double taxation and the lack of social protection, among others. The issue of informal economy is a broader perspective. In Kenya, yes, we have regulations, but recognition, appreciation, and value addition to the work that we do. And if you can match it with what we generate in our GDP, is not matching. If you talk about infrastructure, yes, there may be infrastructure, but the way of allocation and interest from non-interest, non, what we would call non-interest parties or beneficiaries, is quite a challenge in Kenya. Where you find those who are not to be state beneficiaries, developing hunger and greed to acquire the spaces that are meant for the informal economy workers. Uh, first of all, the reason why we are here, we were focusing on the biggest challenge, which we feel that if it is solved, it can at least cover multiple of our challenges, which is social protection scheme. So as a network, we already have uh, a policy on social protection scheme, which we are soon going to register and introduce to our members. It's going to be a contributory uh, protection scheme. Uh, we demand the government to fully recognize us as other workers because we are contributing a lot to the economy of Uganda and the GDP. And when we also look at uh, SDGs that we are targeting, uh, number one and number two, which is end, uh, end hunger and poverty, we are contributing to it by, because we are the ones who are producing food security in, in the country. So a government must recognize us, first of all, and then cover us in the social protection scheme. We want also to be in the budget and then make sure that we are also covered as workers in the formal economy. Unfortunately, these workers lack recognition, legal recognition, accordingly social protection recognition. They are not covered by any labor code in, this, in their countries. They are not recognized by the national as well as local government. Despite the fact they contribute enormously to the national and local economies of their countries. Our main problems that um, we are facing are conceptualized in two, three aspects, in two, three categories. We work into the, what we call the three Ds, that is the dirty, demeaning, and dangerous environment. Why? Because of the absence of the three R, because of the absence of regulations, representations, and regulations. So our, our effort as a region has been to make sure that first the informal economy themselves understands who they are and accept that they are workers who need to enjoy the all workers rights and that there is no one who will come to their own aid apart from themselves.